What's up, YouTube? This your boy, Big Boys and Action on TV. And tonight, I'll go on my WWE NXT Heat Wave review and highlight. So, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please go watch the video before you hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel for more wrestling content like this. Go check out my WWE Money in the Bank review on highlights. It's up on the channel that I did yesterday. Follow my social media down below in the description. And let's get started. Now, WWE NXT Heat Wave was a good show because of the crowd itself was loud tonight. All right, it says, Welcome. To our live covers of WWE NXT Heatway, broadcasting from the Scotta Bank Arena in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. We will be bringing you all the action from this highly anticipated event. Our, our live coverage kicks off at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, so be sure to join us as we follow the action in. And share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to spread the excitement on social media. So we get the WWE NXT Heatwave matches. So so WWE NXT Champion Fatal Four Way match Trick Ones versus All Ego Ethan Page versus Sean Spears versus the Young OG Javon Evans. And then we get WWE Women's Championship match: The Prodigy Roxanne Perez and versus Lola Vice. Then we get the WWE Tag Team Championship match. Supersonic Duel, Nathan Frazier, and Axion versus Chase U, Andre Chase, and Duke Hudson. And then we get the WWE NXT North American Champion, Oba Femi versus Wes Lee. And then we get the NXT Women's North American Championship match, Keelani Jordan versus Soruka. The countdown to WWE NXT Heat Wave kickoff pre show tag team match, Carmen Petrovic and Ariana Grace versus Jesse Jane and Jasmine Nick. Countdown to WWE NXT Heat Wave kickoff pre show. Um, the countdown to WWE NXT Heat Wave kickoff pre-show opens up with Megan Moran welcomes up, welcoming us Moran to the introduce Sam Roberts, who will be joining her in the pre-show panel. We, we then see WWE NXT Women's Champion The Prodigy Roxanne Perez walking in the back, and WWE NXT Champion Trick Williams walking through the street of Toronto. All right. We then get a video package looking at the WWE NXT Women's Championship match. We 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 then head to the back where Sarah Screever is interviewing Lola Vice. Sarah Screever asks Lola Vice about Tuesday. Lola Vice says tonight is is not is not about emotion. Lola Vice said Lola Vice then says tonight she fights for the NXT Women's Championship. Lola, Lola Vice then says tonight is the biggest match of her life. Lola Vice then says tonight's match is for her family, but she left those tears in Florida. Lola Vice then says tonight she will become the first Cuban American NXT Women's Champion. The panel then gives their thoughts and predictions on the WWE NXT Women's Championship match. All right, we then get a video package looking at the WWE NXT, NXT North American Championship match. We then we then head to the back where Sarah Screwer then says. That Nathan Frazier has not yet arrived at the at the building, and if he can't make it to the venue in time for the match, as he will have to defend the NXT WWE NXT Tag Team titles by himself. When they, when then see Axion warning, uh, warming up and pacing behind Sarah Screamer in the hallway. We then see All Ego Ethan Page walking in the garage. We then we then get a video package looking at the WWE NXT Women's North American Championship match. The panel get then gives their thoughts and predictions on the match. We then get a promo from All Ego Ethan Page from earlier today. Ethan Page levels his hotel room and to reveal the outfit he is wearing in the arena. Ethan Page then Ethan Page then the mentions being in a Canadian tuxedo. Ethan the Page then said Sean Spears will probably wear a tree, a three-piece suit when he is wearing a tuxedo. Ethan the Page then says he is the uncrowned champion from Canada. Um, we then see the young, the young OG Javon Evans outside of the arena yesterday. Javon Evans says he was in a in a lady six months ago and he didn't expect any of this to happen. Javon Evans then says he will man event. His first POE tonight, and he will will have a chance to be the biggest, youngest champion in NXT history. We then head to the Chase U locker room, where Rich Holland calls and says he has a few things ready for Tuesday when they come back as champions. 
Which Harlow's name wishes the rest of the chase you look. Dear Hill says then Dear Hill then says she is excited for Witch Holland. Chase you then tells Duke Hudson to focus in winning focus on winning the the t- winner tonight. Um Moran and Hudson then gives their thoughts on the WWE tag team title match. Alright. NXT general manager Ava joins Sam Robinson and Megan Moran. Ava is asked about the energy of the wrestlers. Ava says it is a special night. Ava then says everyone on 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 tonight. Shows is looking to impress uh, impress and shows out. Ava then says she thinks that is what is going to happen. Ava then says the landscape of NXT can't change tonight. Sam then asks if Ava regrets making the WWE NXT Champion match a fatal four match. Ava says she does not and she stands by her decision. Ava then says everyone in the match deserves a title match. Ava then says it gives everyone a chance to showcase their abilities. Ava then says she thinks it will be an amazing match. Then we then get a promo from Sean Spears. Sean Spears says he used to drive by the arena as an expired wrestler. Um, Sean Spears then says one day he would make it happen. Sean Spears then says after the decade of patient and pain he believes. Sean Spears then says tonight he has the opportunity to get what he what what has to has the opportunity to get what has excluded him. Sean Spears then says he will win the NXT champion and the young and impressionable Bill talent will see the light in truth. Sean Spears then says when the when he is NXT champion, they will believe. So we get the WWE NXT Champion True Goons then walks through the Toronto and says a piece of him should be honored because they all think they have a chance to get a title match. True Goons then says he feels pissed off because everyone thinks they can take the title from him. Everyone then says Javon Evans belongs here, but the other two don't deserve it. True Goons then says they won't get a special treatment because they are in Canada. True Goons then says he won't lay down and give up his title. Vic Joseph and WWE Hall of Fame Booker T then welcome us to the show, and we get the entrance of the first match of the night, which is a tag team match. Okay. So we get a tag team match. Carmen, Carmen Petrovic and Ariana Grace versus Jesse J and Jasper Nick. And this match right here, this was, this was just a solid match. This was this was just a this was just a solid tag team match. The match starts off with Grace and Jesse Jane. Grace backs Je- Jesse Jane back in the corner, and Jesse Jane hits a takedown in a form. Jesse Jane then marks Grace, and Grace hits a shoulder tackle in a in a slam. Carmen then tags in tags in, and Karma hits a disgust close on for a near fall. Karma then hits some kicks on Jasmine, and she gets a near fall. Karma then. Hits an Irish whip and knee into the corner. Um, Grace then hits a shoulder shoulder in the corner. Grace then hits a suplex and elbow drop for a near fall. Grace then hits a forearm to the back. Carmen then tags in and chops Jasmine Nick. Jasmine Nick then hits an Irish whip and Carmen hits a jumping side kick of the corner and a flying forearm for a near fall. Jesse then Jesse Jane then. Then has some words for Carmen and Jasmine. Hits Carmen from behind. Jesse Jane then tags in and hits a neckbreaker. While Carmen does the O'Connor roll on Jasmine. Jesse Jesse Jane then hits some punches and a back elbow for a near fall. Jesse Jane then hits a running hip hip into the corner and Jasmine chokes Carmen and hits a drop kick. Jasmine, I mean not Jasmine. Jesse Jane then tags in and hits a cannonball. For her, for for a near fall, Jesse Jane then hits a seated amb- ambitional stretch. Carmen then hits a roll up for a near fall. Jesse Jane, Jesse Jane, yeah, Jesse Jane then hits a thirst kick on Carmen and Jasmine they tags in. They they then go for a double suplex and hit it. Jasmine then Jasmine then gets a near fall. Jasmine then hits a figure four. Head scissors. Carmen then goes for a roll up for a near fall. Jasmine then hits a close on and gets a near fall. Jesse Jane then tags tags in and Carmen lands on her feet on a double suplex attempt. J- 
Jasmine then goes for the goes to the floor and Jesse James thumps Carmen, but Carmen kicks her away and Grace tags in. Grace then hits some elbows on Jesse James and Jasmine. Nick. Je um, Grace then hits some elbows on both Jesse James and Jasmine Nick in a knee lift. Um, Grace then hits an elbow off the turnbuckles to the back for a near fall. Jesse James then hits a jawbreaker and Carmen tag in. Jesse James then then hits a kick block, then has a kick block and Grace holds Jesse James for a, for a jump and thirst kick hard attack for a near fall. Um, Grace is then sent to the floor and Carmen miss a kick. Jesse James then pulls Carmen to the mat and and Jasmine Nick tags in. Jasmine Nick then trips Carmen and Jesse James with a knee, but Grace breaks breaks the cover. Just breaks the cover. Grace then hits a cold breaker on um, on Jesse James, but Jasmine Nick kicks Grace. Jasmine Nick then hits in a corner roll, but Grace pulls Jasmine Nick over the um Jasmine Nick over and Carmen gets the three count. The winners of the tag team match, Karma, Carmen Petrovic and Ariana Grace. This was a solid tag team match right here. We then see that Nathan Frazier finally shows up in action where asks him as where well was he. Aston then tells Nathan Frazier that he had to be focused. Nathan Frazier then says he is locked in. Frazier then asks what the game plan is. Aston then then covers his face and says, "A deals a." Dios mio. All right, let's move on. Roberts and Moran then discuss the WWE NXT Championship 34 way match, and we get a video package on the match and the countdown to WWE NXT Heatway kickoff pre show. So we get the WWE NXT Heatway results. The show opens up with a video package. All ego Ethan Page was then showing it in the arena from the parking lot. WWE NXT Trick Rooms. Was the show was shown hanging out with the fans in the arena entry lot entry line. Big Joseph and WWE Hall of Famer Booker T then welcomes us to the show and we get the entrance of the opening match for of the PLE. So we get WWE NXT North American Championship match. So we get Oba Femi versus Wes Lee. And this match right here, this was a good match. And that's all I gotta say. The match starts off with Wesley hitting a boot on Oberfemi midsection. Wesley then looks to hit a second one, but Oberfemi catches Wesley and trips him. Wesley then delivers some right hands on Oberfemi's midsection, but Oberfemi sends Wesley in the corner and looks to hit a boot. Wesley then moves out of the way and hits a kick, then follows it up with an insecurity off the ropes. Oberfemi then hits Wesley with an with an um but with a um oblique. Oblique, quick, oblique, 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 back, uh, breaker. Then place Wesley on the top rope before knocking him to the to the outside. I was trying to get that word right. But anyway, Wesley then quickly recovers and hits a missile drop kick for on and uh, over family back inside the ring. Over family then gets Wesley up on his shoulders and sends him crashing into the mat. All right. The action then spills to the outside, and Oberfemi hits a right hand on Wesley's midsection. Oberfemi then sends Wesley crashing into the ring, apron and under the ring, then gets back in the ring. The referee then begins a 10 count, but Wesley beats it. Oberfemi then hits an uppercut on Wesley in the corner and follows it up with a backstabber. Oberfemi then, then, then stands on Wesley's spine before he hits a stump on it, then follows it up. With another, with another breaker, oblique breaker, and a right hand on Wesley's spine. Oberfemi then sends Wesley into the corner, then charge at him. Wesley then ducks out of the way, and Oberfemi is sent crashing into the ring post. Oberfemi then close lines Wesley on the apron, then follows it up with a choke slam, backbreaker co combination back in the ring. Oberfemi then continues wearing down Wesley's previously injured injured spine, but Wesley nails Oberfemi with the near security and follows it up with a few right hand, few right and left hands. Wesley then hits a DDT on Oberfemi and follows it up with a couple of top suicides on him on the outside. 
then looks to fly off the top rope. Overfamily then catches Wesley, but Wesley hits Overfamily with their hurricane and goes for the ghost wave paint, and Overfamily kicks out. Wesley then hits a meteor on Overfamily off the top rope, then locks, then looks to fly it off. Overfamily then intercepts Wesley with an uppercut and goes for a pin, but Wesley kicks out. Overfamily then gets Wesley on his shoulders and climbs to the top rope. But Wesley escapes and looks to hit a her Karana on Overfamily. Overfamily then blocks blocks Wesley and power bombs him off the middle rope. But Wesley nails nails Overfamily with a card dock kick and goes for a pin, and Overfamily kicks out. Wesley then hits a far splash off the ropes on Overfamily, but Overfamily clotheslines himself and Wesley out of the ring. Wesley then lands on the apron and looks to fly, but Overfamily nails Wesley with a shorter breaker and gets him back inside the ring. Wesley then nails Overfamily with a knee, with a knee. Nail, what's it? Nails out of the ring. Lands in apron to look, the looks to, looks to fly, but Overfamily nails Wesley with a shorter breaker and gets him back inside the ring. Uh, Wesley then nails Overfamily with a knee to the side of the head, of the head then follows it up. With a double stomp on his spine and looks to hit a car dog kick. Um, Overfamily then catches Wesley, but Wesley escapes and hits Overfamily with a thirst kick. Wesley then once again looks to looks for the Kodak kick, but Overfamily sees him coming and sends him crashing to the mat. Overfamily then hits Wesley with a set up power bomb for the win. The winner. And still the WWE NXT North American Champion over Family. That was a good match. Se- separate separate shots where they where they show of WWE NXT Women's Champion the Prodigy Watson Press and Lola Vice arriving arriving to the arena. We then get a video package and the entrance of the next match, which is a WWE NXT Women's North American Championship match. So we get the WWE NXT Women's North American Championship match, Killani Jordan versus Soruka. This was a decent match. The match starts off with both women taking t- taking t- turns and trying to knee each other, trying to take each other down and lock it in submissions on each other before Jordan hits a crossbody on Ruka um, out of the corner. Ruka then hits a drop toho on Jordan, but Jordan responds with a low co- crossbody. Ruka then hits a face buster on Jordan and then puts her in a bow and bow and arrow, bow and arrow. Jordan then hits an arm drag on Soruka, then follows it up with a her and flies over the top rope uh, to land on her on the on the outside. Both women then get back inside the ring, and Jordan hits hits Ruka with the face buster. Ruka then hits a couple of cross bodies on Jordan and follows it up with a kick on her head before hitting her with a 450 splash from the apron. Jordan and Ruka then exchange warrants with each other, but but Jordan nails Ruka with a Pele kick. Jordan then follows it up with a poison run and a springboard moonsault on Ruka on the outside, but so Ruka responds with a kick on Jordan's chest off the apron. Ruka then hits a moonsault on Jordan out of the corner and the referee begins to count begins a 10 count. Both women then beat it and Ruka gets Jordan on her shoulders. Jordan then escapes a roll up Ruka, but Ruka kicks out. Ruka and Jordan take turns unsuccessfully pinning each other before Ruka hits a power bomb on Jordan. Ruka then plays Jordan on the top rope and joins her up. There's there but Jordan fights Ruka off and hits her with a 630 splash. Ruka then gets Jordan in the gets Jordan in gets Jordan in electric chair position and Jordan looks to escape. Ruka then hangs on to Jordan and catapults her into the corner, then climbs to the top. With her and still in electric chair position, Jordan then hits a poison runner on, on Ruka, then follows it up with a split legged moonsault for the win. The winner and still your WWE NXT Women's North American Champion, Killanley Jordan. This was a decent match. After the match, Killanley Jordan helps Ruka up 
We're good damn hoes. Join us. Hand up as a show of respect and join and celebrates her win with the NXT universe. Okay. We didn't get a video from Gallus where they were talking about Tyson, DuPont, and Terry Igui brawling with the brawling with them for weeks. Gallus then talks talks about how Igui and Don Don Punk care more about social media while they care more about fighting. Joe Covey then says they will see Igui and Don Ford on Tuesday. We then get a replay of Carmen Carmen Petrovic and Ariane Grace picking up a picking up the win in the countdown to WWE NXT Heatway kickoff pre-show. We then see NXT general manager Ava appraising Petrovic and Grace from for making a pretty good tag team. Grace says she is she is glad it worked out. If Petrovic were by herself, it would have been catastrophe. Um, Petra then says she picked up the win and they are a team. Grace then says she was she was the real MVP tonight and unfortunately this is the last time they be they'll teaming they'll be teaming. Ava then books Grace and Petrovic in a match for Tuesday. Grace then says it is disgusting to pit two tag team partners against each other. All right, Lola Vice was the shown. Lola Vice was then shown getting ready in the makeup room while all ego Ethan Page was showing tapping up, taping up his wrist. Um, we then get the entrance of the next match, which is a WWE NXT Tag Team Championship match. So we get a WWE NXT Tag Team Championship match. Um, Super Star Duel, Nathan Fresh and Axiom versus Chase U, Andre Chase, and Duke Cousin. This 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 tag team match was really good. Really good. Really good um tag team match right here. The match starts off with Axiom and Andre Chase. Both men take turns in locking each other in the submission hole and pinning each other before Axiom hits Chase with a drop kick. Chase then pins Axiom, but Axiom kicks out. Chase then hits a drop kick on Axiom. Frazier then tags and, and Chase U hits, hits him with a couple of arm drags. Duke Hudson then tags in and hits a bell to barely throw on Frazier. Chase then tags back in and double teams Frazier with Hudson. Axiom then tags in and double teams Chase with Frazier. Axiom then sends Chase crashing into the mat and tags in Frazier. Frazier, it says Frazier then hits an instant Gury on Chase and Axiom follows it up with a suplex. Axiom and Frazier then hit a double super kick on Chase. Um, hits a super kick. What was it? It says hit a super kick on Chase. Frazier then wears Chase down with a submission hole and um, then trips him and drags Axiom in the in the back. Axiom then looks locks in an ankle lock submission on Chase U, but Chase U looks to escape with an insecurity. Axiom then hangs on and changes a knee bar. Chase then Chase then escapes and sends Axiom crashing into the middle turnbuckle. Duke Hudson, yeah, Duke Hudson and Frazier then tag in and Duke Cousin runs over Frazier and Axiom with a couple of double close lines. Duke Cousin then hits a choke slam on Axiom, then sends Frazier crashing into the crashing into the mat face first. Duke Hudson then hits a gut buster on Frazier, landing on the top of Axiom in the process and pins Frazier. Frazier then kicks kicks out and drop kicks Duke Hudson out of the ring. But Duke Hudson hits a belly to belly suplex on Frazier and looks to hit a racer's edge. Frazier then counters with a hurt corona that sends Duke Hudson crashing into the corner. Axiom then tags in and fires with Frazier to land, land on Chase U on the outside. Axiom then gets Duke Hudson back in the ring and climbs the top. Axiom then hits Duke Hudson with a frog splash, then tags in Frazier. Frazier then fires off the top row with a 450 splash on Duke Hudson. Axiom then looks, for, looks to fly off the top row, but Duke Hudson gets his boots up. Duke Hudson then hits a side rock slam on Frazier. And goes for a pin, but Frazier kicks out Frazier and Duke Hudson then te- teeter on the top rope, but Frazier fights off Hudson and hits a massive drop kick on him. 
accident then tags in and plays Duke Huston on the top rope with Frazier. Frazier then tags himself in and asks him hits a Spanish spot on Duke Huston. Frazier then follows it up with a finish splash on Duke Huston and goes for a pin. But Chase U breaks breaks the breaks the fall by hitting a cold red on Axum and um, Chase and Axum then tag in and exchange right hands with each other. Um, Chase U then hits an air security on Axum and a chop on Frazier. Frazier then looks to hit a kick on Chase, but accidentally hits Axum. Duke Hussey then takes Frazier down with a right hand and Chase rolls up Axum, but Axum kicks out. Frazier then drop kicks Hudson. Hudson into the ring steps on the on the side of side as Chase hits a Russian leg sweep on Axiom back in the ring. Chase Chase then hits a hits the Chase U stomp on Axiom, then climb to the top and hits a crossbody. Chase U then goes for a pin, but Fraser breaks the fall. Chase then sends Fraser out of the ring and looks to send Axiom crashing into the mat. Frazier then tags in and locks and looks to fly off the top rope, but Chase U sends him coming and climb up the top rope. Frazier then joins him up there, there, there and hit him with a superplex. Axum then tags in a double team. Chase with Frazier. Frazier then fi- flies over the top rope to land on Duke Hustle on the outside and Axum hits Chase U with the golden red o inside of the ring for the win. The winners of the match is still your WWE NXT Tag Team Champion, Super Sonic Duel, Nathan Fresh, and Axum. This tag team match just was a very good tag team match. We then head to the back where Wesley went, went, went his frustration about being unable to dethrone over family as the NXT North American Champion, and they're beginning to challenge for Over Femi's title again as long as he is the champion. Wesley says he's he's lost. He said he's at loss for words, and and he needs some time to figure things out. Then says he'll see fans on the on this coming Tuesday Tuesday's episode of NXT. All right, we then get an ad for the WWE NXT Great American Bass. Set to take place on August 6th on Sci Fi. All right, the young OG Giovanni Evans was the sh- was then shown war- warming up backstage. We then see Sean Spears sitting on a couch and sh- staring blankly. Um, we then get a video package in the entrance of the next match, which is a NXT Women's WWE NXT Women's Championship match. So we get the WWE NXT Women's Championship match, the Prodigy Ross and Press versus Lola Vice. Very good match. The match starts off with Press hitting an open palm strike on Lola Vice, and Lola Vice responds by showing Ross and Press locking in a submission hole on her. Lola Vice then looks to hit a cross arm breaker on Ross and Press, but Ross and Press counters into a roll up. Lola Vice then kicks out, then hits a mat return on Ross and Press and sends her across the ring. Lola Vice then looks to hit a 305 on Watson Press, but Watson Press was out of the ring to avoid it. Lola Vice then fires off the apron and lands on Watson Press, then gets her back inside the ring. Watson Press then sends Lola Vice crashing into the middle rope on middle middle turnbuckle and delivers some right hands on her. Then sends her crashing into the into one of the other turnbuckles and stomps her stomps on her chest. Lola Vice then then sends Rossin face first, repeatedly bouncing her off, bouncing off the turnbuckles. But Rossin Prince responded responds with a hair whip on Lola Vice and pulls her pulls her hair. Rossin presents then sends Lola Vice into the corner and then follows it up with an uppercut and a Russian leg sweep. Rossin Prince then goes for a pin, but Lola Vice Lola Vice kick, Lola Vice kicks out. Lola Vice then hits a series of rapid fire kicks on Ross and Perez's thighs, then focuses it up with a hip attack and a scissors kick. Lola Vice then hits a right hand on Ross and Perez's midsection, but, but Ross and Perez responds with a uppercut. Then Lola Vice then intercepts Ross and Perez and locks in a submission. But Ross and Perez counters into a pinfall to escape. Lola Vice then looks in a sleeper on, on Ross and Perez. But Ross and Perez rolls out of the ring and sends Lola Vice crashing into into the announcer desk. 
spine press to break the hole. Washington president sends Lola Vice President into the ring post our fist and stomps on her hand before she nails her with a suplex. Washington president Lola Vice get back in the ring and Washington president stomps on Lola Vice injured arm. Washington president sends it bouncing off the mat and goes for a pin. But Lola Vice kicks out. Washington president then continues wearing down Lola Vice's arm and steps on it, but Lola Vice responds with a kick on Watson Perez. Watson Perez then responds with a back suplex and looks to hit a back elbow, but Lola Vice changes it and hits a 305, sending Watson Perez crashing out of the ring. Lola Vice then gets Watson Perez back in the ring and pins her, but Watson Perez gets her boot on the bottom rope to break the fall. Lola Vice then delivers some right hands on Roxanne Perez, but Roxanne Perez sends, her, sends Lola Vice crashing into the ring post. Shoulder first. Um, Roxanne Perez then looks to hit the pop rock on Lola Vice, but Lola Vice avoids the maneuver and delivers a few roundhouse kicks on Roxanne Perez. Lola Vice then looks to hit a, a, hits the 305, but Roxanne Perez counters, counters with the pop rock and goes for a pin. Lola Vice then kicks out, and Roxanne Perez sends Lola Vice out of the ring and clears the announcer desk. Roxanne Perez then gets Lola Vice on top of it and hits her with the pop rock. Roxanne Perez then sends Lola Vice back in the ring and goes and goes goes for a pin, but Lola Vice somehow managed to kick out. Roxanne Perez then delivers the hammer and anvil elbow on Lola Vice's arm and locks and look and locks in a cross space. Then hits her with the with three pop rocks for the win. The winner of the match in Studio WWE NXT Women's Champion, the Prodigy Watson Press. This was a good match. Watson Press hit five pop rocks in a row, five of them. All right, let's move on. That was a good match. We then get a replay of the WWE Hall of Famer, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, inviting Brooks Brook Jensen to NXT this Tuesday following the number of in in, in dense, Involving Jensen. Okay, we then get a video of Lester King continuing to mock Eddie Thorpe's choice in EDM, EDM music in favor of his choice, the rock and roll music. King King then announced that he will face the Don of NXT Tony D. D'Angelo this coming Tuesday for his WWE NXT Heritage Cup champion. We then get a video of the dawn of the dawn of NXT Tony D D'Angelo and his garden watering his fruit. D'Angelo says, uh, "Luca, not Luca, yeah, Luca Confino show him the Lessis King video on how he is trying to take away the Italian Heritage Cup." D'Angelo then says, "It isn't going to be a cakewalk to the title." D'Angelo then says he is going to slap the fake beer off of King's face and then comes back to his garden to water his bells, uh, bicep plants. All right, we then get a video package of the entrance of the main event, which is which is a WWE NXT Fatal Four Way match. All right, so we get the WWE main event of the evening: WWE NXT Fatal Four Way match. Trick Williams with that trick versus All Ego Ethan Page versus Sean Spears versus the young OG Javon Evans. This was a very good fatal four way match, but the outcome I did not I did not see it coming. All right, the match starts off with Ethan Page jumping out of the ring, wanted to let Trick Williams and Javon Evans and Sean Spears brawl amongst themselves. Javon Evans then hits the hits a top. Top suicide on Ethan Page to take him down on the outside as Trick Williams and Sean Spears brawl and brought in the ring. Trick Williams then, then hits a body slam on Sean Spears and sends him crashing to the outside as Yvonne Evans and Ethan Page exchange right hands with each other. Sean Spears and Ethan Page then sends a sends Trick Williams and Yvonne Evans bouncing off the ring steps and return to the ring to form an alliance. Ethan Page and Sean Spears then instantly turn on each other by hitting rake eyes on each other. This feels like AEW all over again between Sean Spears and Ethan Page. But let me continue. Javon Evans then nails Sean Spears and Trick Williams hits a neck breaker on Ethan Page. Trick Williams and Javon Evans then show their respect for each other before Jake, 
Devon Evans, his him, his and arm drag on Trick Williams and holds holds him up. Trick Williams then kicks out and Javon Evans hits a drop kick on him. Javon Evans then rolls Trick Williams up once again, but Trick Williams kicks out. Trick Williams then nails Javon Evans with a clothesline and a body slam, but Sean Spears looks to hit him with a chair. Trick Williams then sends Javon Evans coming and nails him with a leg glare and then hits one on, one on Ethan Page. Trick Williams then hits a clothesline on Ethan Page and a double flapjack on Ethan Page. And Sean Spears, Javon Evans then flies off the top rope to land on Sean Spears and on Ethan Page. But Trick Williams hits Javon Evans with the U-range. Ethan Page then hits a right hand on Javon Evans and sends him crashing into Sean Spears. Ethan Page then sends Javon Evans into the corner and kicks him and hits him with a right hand and places him on the top rope. Ethan Page then pulls Javon Evans off the top rope and sends him crashing into Trick Williams and Sean Spears. Then follows it up with a power slam and goes for a pin. Javon Evans kicks kicks out and Ethan Page climbs to the top rope, but Sean Spears hits him with a couple of chops and joins him up there. Javon Evans then knocks Sean Spears off the off the top rope, but Trick Williams gets Javon Evans in the electric chair position. Trick Williams then changes a headlock on Sean Spears and Ethan Page flies off the top rope to land on everyone. Trick Williams and Ethan Page then pan Sean Spears and Javon Evans respectively, but they both kicked out. Trick Williams and Ethan Page then exchange right hands, but Sean Spears then Sean Spears hits them both with a his with his chair. Um, Sean Spears then looks to hit Javon Evans with it, but Javon Evans sees him coming. Javon Evans then flies off the top rope, rolls, but Spears nails him with the chair. Um, Sean Spears then sets the chair up in the corner and lo- looks to hit a C4 on Javon Evans through it. Trigger then saves Javon Evans, but Sean Spears hits him with the C4 onto the chair and goes for the pin, and Trigger Ones kicks out. Sean Spears then gets Trick Ones up on his shoulders, but Trick Ones escapes. Sean Spears then hits a super kick on Javon Evans, but Ethan Page nails him with a kick of, of his own. Trick Ones then, then takes down Ethan Page, takes Ethan Page down before he clears the announcer desk and looks to send Ethan Page crashing through it with a flapjack. Ethan Page then delivers some right hands on Trick Williams to escape and sends him crashing into the ring post, then set up for Eagle's Edge. Trick Williams then escapes and sends Ethan Page crashing into the ring post, then delivers some right hands on him. It, Javon Evans then fires, flies over the top rope and, and sends Trick Williams crashing through the barricade and, near the timekeeper's area. Sean Spears then gets Javon Evans on his shoulders on the middle rope and hits him with the C, he hits him with the C4. Ethan Page then sends Sean Spears out of the out of the ring and pins Javon Evans, but Javon Evans kicks out. Ethan Page then climbs to the top rope, but Sean Spears trips him and hits him with a hits him with a chop. Sean Spears then joins Ethan Page on the rope, but Trick Williams pulls him down. On both men are sent crashing out of the ring. Javon Evans then hits a Spanish spot on Ethan Page off the top rope, then follows it up with a cutter off the top and joins and pins Ethan Page. Trick Williams then breaks the fall, then exchange right hands with Javon Evans. Both men then nails each other with. With kicks before Javon Evans looks to fly off the top. Sean Spears then hit then trips him and drags Javon Evans up to the top to join him. Ethan Page then hits Sean Spears with a neck breaker, then follows it up with a tornado DDT. Then and goes for his pin goes for a pin. Then Trigons then breaks the fall and Javon Evans looks to fly off the apron. Trigons then sees him coming and push him off, sending him crashing through the, the announcer table. Announcer table desk. Trick Williams then looks to take down Sean Spears, but Sean Spears then Sean Spears sees him coming and looks and locks in a spine and locks in a sharpshooter. Ethan Page then breaks the hole, then follows it up with the Eagles edge on Trick Williams and goes and goes for a pin. Javon Evans then breaks breaks the fall by getting Trick Williams foot on the bottom rope. I was confused there. Um, Ethan Page then drags Javon into Javon Evans into the ring and delivers some right hands on him. Ethan Page then looks to hit the Eagles edge on Javon Evans, but Sean Spears pulls Javon Evans down. Trick Williams then nails Sean Spears with Sean Spears and Javon Evans with the trick shot. 
then hits one on Ethan Page. Ethan Page then falls on the top of Javon Evans to pin him to pin him and the referee counts two three before True Guns can break the break the fall. The winner and your new WWE NXT champion all equal Ethan Page. I know for a fact Trick Williams was pissed off that he lost to Javon Evans, Sean Spears, and all ego Ethan Page in that fatal four way match. I know Trick Williams was just so pissed off. He was heated. All right. After the match, Ethan Page glows and posed with the WWE NXT Championship. We then get a clip of Joe Hendry's entrance video, and the show comes to a close. And WWE NXT Heatweight goes off the air. All right, let me give my honest opinion. WWE NXT Heat Wave was a good show, and that's all I gotta say. But Trick Williams has held the WWE NXT champion over 74 days, and that's all I have to say. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed my WWE NXT Heat Wave review on highs, please give this video a big fat thumbs up. Comment down below what are your thoughts on WWE NXT Heat Wave, because WWE NXT Heat Wave was a good show. This was way better than, than the WWE Money in the Bank yesterday. That's all I gotta say. Have a great night. Stay safe and always stay positive. Keep your crew, keep your kids, keep your club. Too sweet. I'm out of here. Gang. Mwah. Bang. Too sweet. Gang. And I will see you guys tomorrow for my WWE Raw review on highlights. And this will be Boy Snapshot TV. Have a great night and stay safe and stay too sweet. And I'm out of here. Gang.